Hi guys, hello, hello, hello. Welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Bonnie. I create content around careers, education, especially higher education, self-development with a dose of reality check. If you are new to this channel, please consider subscribing. Thank you so much for stopping by. And if you are returning, you know, you know, thank you so much for your continuous support guys today i am bringing you five five professions or jobs they are in demand actually they are in demand in the tech industry but they don't require any coding who's happy about that <laughs> you don't like coding you don't like the python <laughs> you don't like the java the java strip the, the java uh, stripped stripped you guys you know i really can't pronounce my r properly but anyway yeah guys i know a lot of us myself included we don't really we are not we are not about the life of coding <laughs> and we are not ashamed you know uh yeah and guys i'm just gonna give it like give you five i'm just gonna give you five uh but there is quite more you know there is quite a lot that you can do in the technology industry without coding and i know maybe coding has made uh, the tech industry popular but it's not the only thing so i got to you boy or girl um yeah so let's just get into it and i am going to be talking about my personal experience as well like something that i also do uh, i'm gonna do it towards the end which is digital marketing Many of you on TikTok and Instagram have been asking me how to get into the digital space as a marketer. So I am going to be giving it to you. Guys, please consider subscribing and give this video a big thumbs up. Let's start. First one, user experience. There's quite uh, two, but today I'm going to focus on user experience. But it's either you are a user experience designer or you could be a user interface designer right so what is this so what you do is you make the product or the service usable enjoyable and accessible right and when we're talking about the product we're talking about apps and websites so you are that person that is responsible for that enjoyability Tinage the end users, right? And obviously, if you are a user interface, the, the, the name says says it all. User interface. You are in charge of the interface of the product, which is an app or a website. Okay. So yeah, is this in demand in South Africa? Yes, yes. All the ones that I'm gonna talk about, yes, they are in demand in South Africa. Um, yeah but get yeah, guys you know these things they are skill based so you need to make sure that you are sharp in those skills <laughs> nothing is guaranteed without the sharpness of the skill and again practice makes perfect so yeah guys user experience uh, and jam yeah, where can you study this course uct get smarter has one red and yellow it's a these are red and yellow is a private college um yeah and there's a company called get smarter which does short courses through uct um google offers this course i know google and career foundry i'm just going to list them in the description box okay uh, but yeah i'm sure if you did computer science um you can get this job as well if you did your computer science and yeah, they say you're looking at around uh, 600K per annum uh, in terms of salary, but I'm sure that's not a start. <laughs> that's not a start. So again, I am going to link um, this resource, like where I got this information for in the description box. Okay, cool. Two, product manager. What is a product manager? manager guys is responsible for crowdsourcing developing and crafting ideas um for for the products you know whether it's a website or it's an app right so like this person works between eux which is the user um experience designer the technology part and the business 
so the technology will be the developers and then the business side right so this person is responsible for these three they work with these three right they work with these three and they make sure with these three departments are speaking to each other because if they're not speaking to each other there is no success in the product and the reason businesses put out a product out there because they want to make money <laughs> so for instance let me just make a, um, a practical example guys right um tiktok of course yeah well like you have your tiktok so um, on tiktok it does not mean if you're a pro product manager it does not mean that you are a um, a manager at TikTok as a whole, like you're gonna have a, a specific um, feature that you are responsible for. So maybe a live feature, yeah, well, maybe the feed, uh, maybe the monetization part. So if you are responsible for that feature, so let's just talk about the live feature. You work with the developers. You work. You make sure that as the users. Uh, we find the live feature exciting, accessible, and enjoyable, right? And then you make sure again that the developers, they make sure what the live feature works properly. And also the business side of the live, right? So it must connect with the business because TikTok is here to make money, you know? <laughs> I'm sure it's quite cool to work for the big companies like Meta, uh, which is formerly known as Facebook, your Instagram and, 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 and your LinkedIn and, and so on. Yeah, so that's what you do. You are responsible for a, a specific uh, feature. But guys, let's just bring it to local context. You know, you might ask yourself, okay, but there aren't um, <laughs> big apps in South Africa. No, guys. Um, Let's take a, a company like um, Virgin Active, you know, they have a uh, big websites and, and yeah, well, so you can work there as a product manager. Let's take banks, banks, guys, they have apps, you know, so don't just think when you're talking about an app, you are just talking about a social media app. No, guys, banks have apps. So how many banks do we have? You know, there's a lot of companies, actually, not just banks, like everywhere every big company there is serious now even if it's not big even if it's just a medium-sized company they have apps so you can then be a product manager of that app okay so you are not the manager of fnb but you are in charge of the fnb app so that's what it is guys okay let's move to the third one which is a software tester so this is the guy that is always checking Woody software before we even take it to the market is it functioning properly are there any bugs so that's what they do guys they can either do it um the automated way or manual testing right and i will link in the description box below where you can study this one guys uh, they are online platforms you know me and online platforms we are like this <laughs> I will actually take a guy that is doing very well in this uh, in this job. They are doing very well in this field. Uh, I will leave his TikTok on the description box and you can connect with him. He's a nice guy. He can tell you about his journey. He did not do computer science. However, you can do computer science uh, for this one. I advise you to do computer science. But you can go... <laughs> You can speak to him. He can tell you how he did it. Okay. So let's move to the fourth one, which is IT support. Support or IT support. I, it's easy. Those ones, they support the, the users of those products. Now they support them. Uh, so if they're having any issues, uh, they will always be on standby uh, just to offer that support you know um so yeah those are the guys uh, for instance if you call your apple call center <laughs> those are the guys that will sort out uh, your macbook uh, while you're at the comfort of your own home right so yeah but um it's not like they only work at the call center it just depends on the environment but the good thing is there is no coding required and you can just do this with your certificates if you've done an online certificate 
or you have your IT degree or IT diploma or, high, or IT higher certificates, right? Fifth one, guys, which is my my jam, my jam, <laughs> digital marketing. Uh, first of all, I would like to just bring you up to speed, guys. Digital marketing is not social media management. I know a lot of people, they think if you can create posts on social media and, and get followers and likes and views, if maybe you're on TikTok, then they think it means now you are a digital marketer no guys digital marketing is quite deep there is quite a lot that is involved however if you have experience in social media and um, even better for you and also that's where most of us started yeah well, that's where we fell in love with this business while we didn't even know what it was i started 13 years ago you know i was just fumbling and then from social media i found myself now writing blog posts and you know just working with um web uh, designers um web developers i have quite a, a vast experience uh when it comes to this industry because i've even worked with uh, web developers <laughs> as a, a user experience designer believe it or not i never knew what was that but i used to be the one who would sit down with the clients and find out what the business is about and then i will then decide what he this is how this website needs to be designed and these are the functionalities that are required and at that time we were still new in this seo thing this is like back like 2009 or 2009 years uh, so we're not quite familiar with how seo worked but I always knew that blogging uh, helps a lot with SEO. I had done my research on YouTube and stuff. So I found myself sitting down and really uh, sitting down with the developers and really briefing them. This is how the website will be SEO friendly. And this is how um, I, like I will be in the shoes of the website visitor, of the customer of the target customer right or target audience we would okay mina typically if if in fear website this is how i want to move from page to page and i learned recently was actually that is ux designer work <laughs> that's what ux designers do but the only difference with me is i was not um, using the the technology which is i've learned now about figma there's the technology that you use to 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 design a, an app or a website, right? So I mean, I was just sketching this with my hand. I, literally, I would draw the pages. What must be here? This is this. Is, you know what I mean? Yeah. But guys, so that's one of the things that uh, you do in digital marketing. You work a lot with the uh, developers, right? And also, guys, you do. A lot of writing. I I just can't lie to you. You need to be a good copywriter, right? A good with words, um, either short form, which will be maybe on your social media. Guys, that paragraph it needs proper proper structuring when you see on a business page that paragraph, right? Uh, and then long long form blogging where a client would require you to write uh, blogs for them yeah well so <laughs> uh, it's not a it's not a small job you know uh, so um, our skills are important i would say copywriting um yeah social media management content yes have a i think my strong point is content marketing have a, because while we use ads as well like the pay per click and understanding how google works like google ads works is a big advantage a uh, understanding how to optimize a website for seo but you also need to be in a position to come up with highly engaging content organic content for a client and as a digital marketer you need to be able to work in any industry any industry i've worked in entertainment it like where i work with a, a website developer a company right but i mean i will offer the digital and the ux side of things um yeah but um, 
I've worked in sports, uh, quite a, yeah, I've worked uh, in with uh, NGOs, right? Uh, I've worked in, in events management, big events, uh, concerts, festivals, right? Uh, but right now I was in a process, I'm still in a process of working uh, with a, um, a law firm. You understand? So I can work, I can create content for any industry, guys. <laughs> that's a skill that you need in content marketing right okay guys something that is important that i have to mention to you um is now today um in the markets the they want you to have your photography basic photography skills uh, basic uh video editing skills and design um if you can work in in design or not even Canva guys, uh, they want in design and illustrator, but you can mess around on Canva as well. It's not bad, but uh, in a professional like agency environment, big agency environment, they want in design, which is an Adobe app, right? So fiddle with that and know how to use it. But I'm sure if you did uh, digital marketing at school, you would know this, you know, they would teach you uh, these apps. Guys, Mina, I went to a um, digital school of marketing. It's in Cape Town a long time ago in 2013. They offered an online course, which was amazing. Back then, we paid maybe 8000 for an online course, but I have no regrets. I would link them in the description box below. I recommend uh, the company. However, um, um, yeah, there are other like online, free online courses. I've done a course uh, through recently just to refresh my memory. I, I've done a course through Google. Mm, it was okay, but it just looked like it was designed for you to understand Google Ads, how to use Google Ads as a digital market, right? Uh, but yeah, it was a free course, so I can't blame them. <laughs> <laughs> and it's a google course so they have to make money you know so for me because i'm really used to content marketing and organic content creation so i think it, that course helped me to get into speed with um, google ads because companies need you to understand google ads they know how to bid yeah, there is that bidding, uh, even if you are not an SEO specialist, which is a, a separate profession altogether. But some companies here in South Africa, they will want you to really be good with your search engine optimization, understand how to bid uh, on Google search. Uh, it's, a, it's a big business, guys. It's, 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 it's serious. It's serious. You know, uh, it's, a, it's a big skill. Like, it's an important skill. Not big, like, important skill to possess. And yeah, be able to analyze data, whether it's on social media or it's on the website. Be a person who can analyze data. Guys, there is nothing like today. There is nothing you can do without data. You need to be able to analyze data. So yeah, that's what I can say when it comes to digital marketing. But please let me know in the comments below if you'd like me to have like a separate video where I can talk in detail about digital marketing right and yeah just to share with you my journey my personal journey how i started 13 years ago where i am now what type of projects i've worked on uh, how did i start without any experience so if you want that video please let me know i will create a separate video for you but other than that guys please let me know also in the comment section below which um profession are you interested in from these five which one are you interested in otherwise guys thank you so much for your support thank you for watching this video i will see you on the next one bye bye